Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about system of linear equation. This particular topic is literally important because it plays a very important role in taking the decision that is predictions. Let me show a few examples then you can understand why it is important. It is used to find the best rate, distance, time for running and cycling application based on so many parameters you can include and calculate it. Then also used to find the best route for planes, trains and automobile and we can compare each other based on additional unknown variable and can come to a conclusion. In addition to that it is used for finding the best deal, then plan, then uh, deciding on a loan whether taking a loan at this particular time will end up in profit or loss. Then if you consider a manufacturing field, it is used to find the cost and demand for a particular product. Then it is also used to find the best job for money. Uh, let me explain you a simple example. Okay, just consider India. Recently, there is a very tight war between the mobile companies that is Jio, Reliance product versus Atel, then Vodafone. Like that we have so many mobile companies in India. So we are going to compare between two companies to decide the plan. Let's see the left side. We have a company K and company L. We have a two parameter x axis y axis x axis belongs to minutes y axis belongs to cost it's in dollar you can put it in INR with the data available we have drawn this graph this is two equation so with this equation we can conclude one thing the company K okay let's consider that's geo and L is like atel the question is at how many minutes do both companies charge the same amount so when you compare the data at 20 minutes both of the company charge same cost so from this what a businessman can take a decision let's see at 10th minute geo charges 10 dollar whereas atel that is l charges 12.5 dollars so these comparison use to decide for the offers so that customers will buy. So you may think it is just two parameters that is minutes and dollar why we want uh, these concepts in machine learning. Here just two variables so we can calculate manually but when you consider many number of parameters then it becomes a very tough to take a decision at that time system of linear equation plays a very important role and one more example in the right side you can once again see a tenth minute another two company have the same amount so based on these graphs only the business people used to decide their decision so one more example this is the most interesting example I felt just consider as an airport scenario you have the data for two flights from this we can conclude at which time both will intersect each other it means at that time if they come for landing or takeoff there is 100 percentage chance that accident will happen so this system of linear equation is used in even flight landing system so that no two flights come at the same time so they predict that particular time based on their speed distance from source to destination and exactly at what time they want to land is all calculated based on system of linear equation. This is one of the important prediction. If we are not sure about at what time they are going to land properly then it's a big trouble. So these concepts will help us to predict the output based on the n number of variables hope you got a clear idea how this system of linear equation plays an important role now we'll go into the concept 
If you consider any scenario, we can divide those into two types. One is consistent system, another one is inconsistent system. If it is a consistent system, we can say it as independent system, another one is dependent system. Independent system means definitely for that particular scenario, you can find a solution. And there will be some scenarios where you will have infinity number of solution. And in there are some situation where we can't find a solution. Let's see how to solve the system of linear equation. Whenever you get any problems, you will change that as an equation like a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 equal to b1. Then same way you have three equations. Let's consider you have a three different companies. You want to compare it and take a decision based on some three variables that is x, y, z, here x1, x2, x3 like that. So first we have to change that to a system of linear equation. From this we have to convert this to a matrices. How you will convert? First we have to find the coefficients. Here this a11, a12, a13 we have the values now. These are all the coefficient. So write it in the matrices form a11, a12, a13. Based on the problem we found the coefficient first then we must know variable. Here what are all the variables x1, x2, x3. Three variables we are using it. So x1, x2, x3 and uh, this is 3 cross 3 this is 3 cross 1 and uh, what is done output you are doing so many calculation in order to find the output that we say it as constant here the constant is b1 b2 b3 three values from these three value that is coefficient variable and a constant we can write this equation in the matrices form like a x equal to b in order to solve this problem first we have to form the augmented matrix a colon b you have to form the matrix like this that is form the augmented matrix here you can put colon not fine with that you can put line like this anything is fine so first thing you have to form the augmented matrix. The second step is form upper triangular matrix using row elementary operation. Then find the rank and this rank help us to decide whether the problem falls under the unique solution or infinity solution or no solution. Here this is A is to be right. So when the first condition when rank of A that is this equal to rank of A colon B which is an augmented matrix equal to N. N is nothing but number of variables. If all these three values are same then it is a consistent and a unique solution. After forming the upper triangular matrix find the rank of matrix of this one and find the rank of matrix of whole augmented matrix. If all the three values are same then you can say it's a consistent and a unique solution. Then the second condition if rank of matrix A equal to rank of augmented matrix is less than n then it is consistent and as infinite solutions second condition if it is less than n and the third condition if rank of a is less than rank of 
augmented matrix then it is inconsistent inconsistent means no solution hope you understood why we have learned rank of matrix now okay let's do a short recap when you get any problem you have to change that to a system of linear equation from that find what is the coefficient what are the variable and what is the constant using these three value try to form the augmented matrix after forming the augmented matrix try to convert that to a upper triangular matrix by applying the row elementary and at the end find the rank of matrix if the rank of matrix a and the rank of augmented matrix is equal to the number of variables then we say it as consistent and a unique solution if rank of matrix a equal to the rank of augmented less than the to number of variables then we will say that solution as infinity solution and if rank of a is less than the rank of augmented matrix we call it as no solution that is inconsistent this rule we can apply to any problem and find the solution hope you are clear about basics how we are going to approach this problem that's the end of this video in the next video we will see the sample problem for each condition thanks for watching happy learning